Have you ever been mistakenly judged before? I was going through my devotional today and it talked about judging others when you have judging the speck in your friend's eye while you have a log in your eye. And at first, you know, I'm human. So at first I'm, I start thinking about the people that got the logs in their eyes. But really that's what, you know, the verse is talking about. It's talking about really actually being humble and looking back at yourself and saying, but what are the things that I am, you know, struggling with or not working on or not fully understanding that I could be better? It had a word in there where it said, Crino, which uh, is Greek. It says it means to judge or to decide. The concept of forming a condemning opinion about someone without knowledge may not be explicitly... Oh, wait, no, sorry, that's the wrong one. My bad. So, crinet, crinet is derived from the verb crino, which means to judge or to decide. In various contexts, crinet can be translated as judge or decide depending on the specific form of tense. Yeah, I keep messing this thing up. I'm sorry, guys. This is what happens when you just try to just give a video. And so, if I'm not mistaken, the way it came up was that it was kind of judging somebody without getting the full story. As a matter of fact, I actually recently just had an experience of that with a person. And it was actually very hurtful because the person accused me of something without actually getting the full story, without talking with me first, getting my perspective. And it's, it was extremely hurtful, especially because I revere that person. I think highly of that person. But, you know, again, then that kind of goes back to me of, okay, I have to give the, I have to extend grace because that person's also working on themselves just like I'm working on myself. So, yeah, if you guys can get anything out of this video, I think it's just important to, you know, the old saying is, you never know what it's like until you walk a mile in my shoes. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Again, I'm just, just having dialogue here. But we have to be careful to not prejudge people or to judge someone's actions solely based on like what happens in the moment. It's important to also analyze where that action came from, giving that person to, I mean, part of being judged is having a trial. So a lot of times we actually basically skip right past the trial. We just go right to execution. <laughs> you say, yep, guilty. He did it. She did it. Done. Done deal. Right. But, you know, you need to actually have a, a formal trial before making judgments on people. And I struggle with that. So, you know, I hope I'm not the only one. Let me know in the comments if you guys made it through this whole video. Um, if you know someone or, you or you know, this this hit, you know, drop a one, drop a fire. I don't know. Give me something. Let me let me know. You know what I mean? Don't just have me out here talking to myself. All right, guys. Hope you guys have a great day.